and we are so thrilled to be joined by Brandon Hutchinson, GM of Atlanta Motor Speedway. Brandon, how are things going there? I know this year you guys have had a little bit shorter runway to get ready for your first race of the season. Alexis, Brad, Doug, thank you so much for having me on today. You know, it's a quick turnaround coming out of the holidays. You know, we're on deck, so it's going to be here before we know it, but that's okay. We've been getting ready for a long time. We're excited about it, and uh, it can't get here quick enough. Well, let's talk about this upcoming race weekend, the Ambetter Better Health 400. Uh, a lot of racing action on the track, a lot of fun off the track for everyone as well. What can you tell us? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we try real hard to make sure that when cars aren't on track, we've got something for our fans to do. We know that our fans love to camp here. So we're going to kick it off on Thursday with hot laps for charity. It all benefits Speedway Children's Charities. You can ride, you can drive your car on the high banks, the higher banks of Atlanta Motor Speedway starting on Thursday. It's all for a great cause. On Friday, we have the Camper Appreciation Party. Uh, Thor Industries is coming on board. Uh, they're going to be a partner of ours with the Camper Appreciation Party. We've got Legends and Bandolero Racing on Friday. We've got the 10th year of the doubleheader on Saturday. We've got the Freight 208. We've got the Raptor King of Tough 250, followed by we've brought the party back to the infield in the Peach Pit. So we're going to have a little Motley Crew cover band on Saturday night. We're going to have Mechanical Bulls. We're going to have laser shows. We're going to have Cornhole. We've got driver autographs, Q&As in the fan zone, trackside lives coming back. So, Brad, there's a ton to do. We hope fans will come out and join us. All right, sounds like an awesome weekend, back-to-back -back super speedway races. Brandon, I would think coming right on the coattails of the Daytona 500, there's a lot of momentum to be gathered there because it seems for a lot of me that's that's the focal point of the NASCAR season, and you can play that to your advantage, can't you? Doug, you're exactly right. There's not a time of the year when more eyeballs are on the sport. So we're excited about being on deck, as it were. You know, Daytona 500 is always a little bit of a uh, curveball to start off the season. We're following that up. It's going to be an exciting start to the season this weekend. And uh, we're looking forward to the Ambetter Health 400. We're an intermediate length track that races like a super speedway. So because we're a mile shorter, guys, it's almost like a short track. So we've got all three kind of rolled into one. The racing is not any better anywhere else. Come to Atlanta Motor Speedway and see us. A super speedway short track. I like that. I like that. So um, you guys, obviously, being in Atlanta, there's a lot of, of Georgia love that happens there. One of the, the entertainment that's going to be there this weekend is a Georgia native, um, John Langston, who's going to be playing a concert there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. John Langston is, uh, you know, he has like over a half a billion streams, really big in college towns here in the state of Georgia. We know our fans are going to love to see John. Like you said, Alexis, he's a local boy who uh, grew up coming to races, loves NASCAR, has a lot of friends on the NASCAR circuit. So he's going to resonate well with our, our fans. He's going to produce a really cool pre-race pre show for us. Fans need to get down on the on the pre-race stage area, see the John Langston concert, see the driver intros. There's a track access pass that'll allow you to get right down there. You can walk around the pits. You can walk around the grid. It's going to be a cool time. John Langston's going to be good. Alexis, as you know, you know we're all things Georgia, so John ties well with that. <laughs> Speaking of all things Georgia, Georgia drivers have done pretty well at Atlanta Motor Speedway in recent history. I mean, look, Austin Hill in the Xfinity Series has just done phenomenal. And I'm going to count Joey Logano as a Georgia driver, Brandon, because I know for many, many years you sat up there and watched him on Thursday nights running Legends cars and all the success he had there. In fact, didn't he even sneak onto the track one time and make some laps in a cup car when he was like 12, 13? We know about that now, Brad. We didn't know about that <laughs> when it happened. You know, Tom Logano uh, was a good friend of ours. And, yeah, Joey grew up here racing on the quarter mile Thunder Ring. There wasn't anybody better at the time. We knew when we were watching him race that uh, he had something. And, boy, did he show us. You know, last March, the M Better Health 400, what a good race. It came down to the wire. He, pra he passed Brad Kozlowski. Uh, and got into victory lane for the first time racing on the big track. He's probably been to victory lane as much or more than anybody else. For him to get for him to get that win last March was cool for us to see. We know it was cool for him. 
Brandon, I've done just a little bit of research. Imagine that. I've actually done research before we go on the air. <laughs> the average high temp on February, mid-February at Atlanta Motor Speedway is 62. So for all the people saying we're going to go have to bundle up in muck lucks, uh, they're, they're a little bit out there. Look, that sounds pretty temperate to me. Doug, you're exactly right. You know, you probably had Brad out on pit road or, or somewhere high in a turn last March. And last March 17th, it was 62 degrees with about a 30 mile an hour wind. So it felt like about 30 miles an hour. Last February 25th was 73 degrees. So springtime in Atlanta, it can go either way. We're looking forward to a warm weather weekend. You're right, Doug. February in Atlanta is usually a pretty, pretty good precursor to spring. Everything's starting to bloom. The sun's coming out. We're getting out of our houses. And what better way to get out of the house than to go to a NASCAR race at Atlanta Motor Speedway? Well, Brandon, I know you've got a lot of work to do, so we're going to let you go. But I have one question, one thing I want you to kind of clear up for for the fans and for me. Um, You mentioned Trackside Live is coming back um, to multiple Speedway Motorsports facilities. I I like to peruse uh, Reddit every now and then, and there was some question on there on whether or not uh, the trackside would be accessible to fans outside of the racetrack or would it be inside. Now, I believe it's going to be in the fan zone, um, but how about you let everybody know exactly where they can, can look for Trackside Live live when they come to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Thank you so much for asking that question, Alexis. It is in the fan zone. It is free for everybody that uh, comes on out to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Am Better Health 400 race weekend. We've got so much stuff going on in the fan zone that is free. So a lot of entertainment, a lot of activities, a lot of driver Q&As. We're even going to have some driver autograph session on Saturday before the Craftsman Truck Series race. So track side live is free for any fan that comes out to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Well, before we let you go, how can people get tickets if they're, you know, listening to the show and and, and want to come down and see all the action? Absolutely. The Am Better Health 400 is going to be here before we know it. February 23rd through the 25th. Go to AtlantaMotorSpeedway.com. Take a look at the website. Find a price point that works well for you and your family and come on out and see us. Well, thanks so much, Brandon. We're looking forward to being there in a little less than a month and, um, you know, excited about it. Thank you so much for being on the show. Doug, Alexis, Brad, always love talking to you guys. We will see you soon. Thank you very much.